Well, the tragedy at Sandy Hook sparked a nationwide campaign against gun violence. And today, advocates sounded off across the country. At the White House, a group of concerned mothers joined the president today to urge Congress to pass tougher gun laws. While closer to home, the Rhode Island chapter of Moms Demand Action rallied at the State House today, calling for what they call common sense changes to keep our children safe. Eyewitness News reporter Mara Kennedy joins us now from Providence with local coverage. On this day of action, moms, local politicians, and many others against gun violence come here to the State House hoping to bring awareness and change. Here's what we want. 100 days after the Newtown, Connecticut shootings, the Rhode Island chapter of Moms Demand Action say they will not stop fighting for gun control until changes are made in the legislature. We think we're really asking for very common sense gun regulations. We're not, I'm really not interested in taking anybody's guns away. Really not at all. The organization that was founded after the Sandy Hook Elementary shootings want to ban assault weapons and ammunition magazines, require background checks for all all gun and ammunition purchases and report the sale of large quantities of ammunition to the ATF. One state representative is working to make some of those changes happen here in Rhode Island. The nature of the bill is that to have a get registration system so that even when a gun gets sold, there's a, there's a trail of where the guns are going because our local police departments don't have you know, any way of knowing who has guns in the community. Since the Newtown, Connecticut shootings, Congress has not made any changes to the gun control laws. It's something that doesn't surprise rally speaker Dr. Maggie Kozel. It speaks to the dysfunction of our legislative system in general, and you're distracted by lobbyists and special interests and who's funding campaigns, then I think that that's cowardly. We spoke to many Rhode Island pro-gun advocates who tell us while they don't agree with the proposed gun control changes, they do respect the opinions of others and are working to educate others as well to make informed decisions. Reporting with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Mark Kennedy, Eyewitness News.